Good to see you. Good to see you also. And I'm excited that everybody is very, very interested in voting and exercising their rights. Yeah, we're seeing record uh, voter turnout already. Over 770,000 people in LA County have already cast ballots. A lot of people have their ballots. They're looking at them right now, trying to make that big choice. So let's start with the big bottom line, most important question. What is the biggest difference between you and your opponent, George Gascon? And what's the most important reason why people should vote for you? Well, the most important reason is that I have a record of accomplishments that are greater than San Francisco, former San Francisco DA George Gascon's promises. He's promising a lot of things, mental health, diversion, all of these things, but I'm already doing that. I've already started accomplishing these things in LA County. I have a, a resume, if you will, of accomplishments that trumps the promises that he's making. But, you know, there's uh, cer certain critics of you um, say that you have too close a relationship with the police union, that they are the ones that massively fund your campaign, and they're uncomfortable with you being able to prosecute police officers because of that. What's your response to that? First of all, the police unions don't directly fund my campaign. They contribute to what's called an IE. Uh, which is protected by a decision called Citizens United. Uh, all anyone can give me is $1,500. And what I want to tell people is, look, in the DA's office, there are people making this decision who aren't the electeds. They are the civil servants. And uh, nowhere in that room, when the decision is made, is anyone considering what the union will do. What I'll say about, uh, about my support is the men and women who are on the front lines, who are enforcing laws, trust me because they know I'm fair, because I know I'm a prosecutor who has been in the courtroom. And they do this despite the fact that we have filed over 200 criminal cases against police officers on and off duty. Uh, Mr. Gascon doesn't have that record and simply does not have their trust. You know, we reached out to Fox 11 viewers asking for their questions for you. Every week we have seen protesters from the Black Lives Matter movement protesting outside your office. Voter Daryl Parks has this question. What are you going to do to engage the African-American community and make sure that you have their respect and trust? Your response. Well, I'm going to do a better job, obviously, with the activists. I feel that I have reached out to the African-American community through the clergy, uh, through groups, through the NAACP. But you can always do better as a DA. And I really want to sit down with the activists and have a conversation where we talk about solutions, where we talk about trainings uh, that need to happen, where we talk about policies. Uh, I am an African-American woman who grew up in L.A. I've never forgotten a lot of the challenges and racism that I faced. I have a very diverse office uh, all the way to the top where I have African-Americans in the room uh, helping, to make, helping me to make decisions. But I think that with a county this size, it's challenging but not impossible. And I'm going to continue to leave my door open so that activists, when they're ready, can sit down and really talk with me about their suggestions and their ideas and realistic solutions on how we can stop people of color from dying so often in the streets. Voter Jeannie Harrison from Westlake Village uh, asking this question about the defunding the police phrase and the homeless. Given the call for defunding the police, uh, a very unfortunate term in my opinion, how would you see the role of law enforcement in regards to the homeless, where a large majority are mentally ill? Well, um, I, I, first of all, I don't agree with defund the police if you're talking about having less police officers, because I think communities of color and poor people will suffer. What I do believe in is that we ought to do a better job of engaging those who have a mental health issue in treatment. And that's why I published the Blueprint for Change. And as a result of that, we have the Office of Diversion and Reentry. And we have a program that we adopted from Seattle called LEAD, Law Enforcement Assisted Diversion. And it's been in operation in Long Beach. 
And uh, we started at the same time San Francisco did, and we've actually expanded to the Hollywood division, whereas in San Francisco, it did not do well and it failed. So law enforcement has got to get out of their cars, got to get out there and approach people in a compassionate way and see if they can connect them to services. And our office has been, uh, you know, supportive of those efforts. We really think that's the way to go. Yeah, you look at the streets of Los Angeles County and there are tens of thousands of homeless people. It is is an embarrassment. Um, what are we doing wrong? And is there anything else that your office can do to fix this? Well, our office um, can be a partner. I mean, the DA's office, we have a role, which is to keep the streets of LA safe by addressing crime through the courts. Uh, but we can implement programs that help the homeless make it easier. Here, here's, here's what's going on. If you talk to homeless outreach uh, people, such as my sister, she'll tell you it takes six months to a year to get someone off the street. That is too long. By the time they go through Section 8 paperwork, by the time they prove, you know, do they have a Social Security card, no fraud, we have got to eliminate those uh, bureaucratic barriers to getting people off the streets, including dismissing prior convictions when someone is finished with their time. And so we've dismissed over 900 warrants. We've dismissed uh, 66,000 marijuana convictions, but we need to do a lot more. But the truth, the truth is that when you're homeless, it is very, very difficult to get off the streets because there are, our, um, our bureaucracy makes it so tough to get housing. There are too many restrictions, and in my opinion, too much scrutiny before someone can get off the streets. And finally, real quickly, most important story, of course, the Dodgers uh, World Series on Fox 11 this week. What is, uh, what's your prediction for the World Series? <laughs> I am predicting, because we need good news, that the Dodgers are going to win it. I've got my number 42 jersey. I'm the 42nd district attorney. I'm going to be wearing it uh, as long as I'm not in a business setting, and I am going to be rooting for them. It was a phenomenal game last night, and I just feel like L.A., you know, to have the Lakers and the Dodgers right. both— I mean, we, we've earned this, I, I believe. We've earned this great news. And, of course, the number 42, a nod to the most consequential Dodger of all time, Jackie Robinson, uh, as well. All right, uh, DA, thank you very much. Uh, good luck, and uh, let's stay in contact as we get closer to election. Sure. The, the end of thank voting, you. as I say. Election day is already here because people are voting right now. We people are voting it. now, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah.